Yeah, we see why the guy got rid of it. <laughs> we are going to be doing the Borla exhaust. So the first thing that he's done so far when you're installing the exhaust, he took off this uh, brakes right there. So I guess that's gonna be step one. Of course, we have this awesome lift here. I say, let's get started. What do you think? So we're gonna take off these side rubber brackets that are holding this up, see if that helps. I have an issue up here getting up in there because the angle on the top one, so. I'll spray a little bit. Yeah. He's just gonna run it like this, guys. Too bad you don't have the uh, remote start. We can just crank it up real quick. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> like a glove. Scotty Kilmore is my uncle, so. Four identical. Yeah. This is the closest we got to a resonator now. It's like a revolver, or like a chain link or something. Imagine if it's just like me and you trying to record this process. It'd be a freaking nightmare. Like you got plenty of clearance all the way around there. Yeah. So easy. Yeah, we see why the guy got rid of it. <laughs> There's a drain hole here. It's probably just inside the actual uh. container. It's not in the pipes. It's like, it's a puzzle. Got to do it and get it all the way around. Yeah, real professional, yeah. Parker. More like exhaust for sale. <laughs> <laughs> needs flipped over because your bracket's on the bottom. <laughs> That's fine. That's why it's not fitting. Ah, uh, thank God for editing. Yep. We did this perfect the first hey, time. Hey, bloopers are there for a reason. <laughs> See, well, look at that. It slides oh, right look. in. Perfectly. Wow. I'm leaving that one in. Wait. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah. Like we did that on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> Probably put that on first, actually. Yeah. Okay, let's see. First, he's going in raw, no lube at all. I just spit on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can push it more my way. I mean, I'm like two inches off. Okay, so we need to push the mid pipe forward then. We should just be able to force it forward. And I did that with a heat chill when I was soldering once. And I was like, yep. Check that diff. Yep, yep. Did you sign a waiver, dude? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, looks like we're lined up pretty good back here. This one might be down a little. Yeah, this one's. This one might rattle on you. That's the one that gives me problems, too. Well, once we tighten them all up. Yeah. Man, Parker, I bet you're excited, dude. So you're doing exhaust, freaking plugs, tune, all in one day. Do it, you do it right. That's what I did. We should have did it before and after with the draggy. But I was just thinking if we do that and you come back, it's gonna be so hot that- Yeah, we didn't do this. <laughs> you have to wait like two hours yeah. with this car, dude. This car gets so hot. To be continued. Yeah. All right, guys, you got it all lined up. Just gotta tighten it down now. Got all the brackets in place. Definitely helps if you got two people, obviously. I've seen people do these on their own, but. I don't know what it'd be like without a lift. Yeah, dude. Yeah, rotated down. But we don't want it to get too high up there because then you're hitting. Yeah, that's perfect. Sweet. 
Sweet. There we go. Didn't move. So as you can see here on this clamp, he's got it down, facing straight down, like he was saying. It's a good low point. And then he was holding this side up. So if you put pressure on that side, it helps keep that lined up. Then tighten it down. Nice. Look at that. It's lined up perfect. Yeah, as you guys can see there, man. The end of the pipe is right before that starts. So you don't want the muffler back underneath there because it'll reverb underneath there and drone really bad. Got good clearance back here. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's not touching. It's good. All right, guys, so we got the Borla cap back installed. This thing is gonna be sick. Like I said, I've heard it in person once before and it sounds really, really good, but it's very, very crucial that you guys tighten up the uh, exhaust system last, get everything situated first because you want those rear muffler tips to be right in the center, as center as possible. Because I remember my MBRP, I, after I installed it, it kind of flexed a little bit with heat, everything being brand new. So you might have to readjust it, but I didn't actually install mine, but he installed it on a lift. So we had to actually go and readjust it. So just make sure that you're lining that up really, really good the first time. So it doesn't rattle on you or worse, get drone. Guys, get yourself some real resonators. So this is the benefit. You get a buddy with a lift and he does all the work for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a guy with a truck, man. Yeah. I, need a, I need to move. Final brace on, it's all tightened down. The Borla cat bag, guys. <laughs> Here I go again. Here I go again. Outside says the chirp, not a camera phone. Nah, nah. Told you I'ma make, keep the channels on. Why you acting different when the camera's on? Why you acting different?